The non-district collectorate, which undertakes major administrative work, now has a sort of mini scrapyard right at its entrance. Several vehicles belonging to the offices of the Mamladar, Collector and Mines and Geology have been left to rush there. Here's Subhashish Govekar with a ground report on the modern art installation right in the middle of the capital city. I'm here right outside the collector's office where a lot of the administrative work is taken care of for the North District. But right outside the offices, it has turned into a scrapyard and these are all government vehicles. As you can see, this is the Directorate of Mines and Geology's vehicle which has been sitting here for a while. Now why have these cars been left here? Uh, they are just sitting here rotting away. The car over here belongs to the Mamladar and Executive Magistrate. Again, it is being scrapped here. The tires are punctured, they cannot be moved. Again, why are they being left here? Again, the Directorate of Mines and Geology's second vehicle has been just lying here. And these cars are sort of rotting right in front of the district magistrate's office. This is where all the administrative work is taken care of. And uh, again, it brings to question if they cannot ensure that the cleanliness or the area surrounding the office itself is not clean and taken care of, how does one expect them to take care of disasters? Like we saw with the fires, it was very hard to see any of the administrative, the top dogs of the administrative forces on ground taking care of the situation. Now, again, uh, as we go ahead, again, this is a car. Now, these have been taped up kind of sort of rudimentary, you know, sort of, what do you say, measures. And this belongs to the transport department. Now, is the government, is the transport department not having enough funds to buy new vehicles or maintain them properly rather than just use a little bit of tape to hold in the tail lights? Is this the sort of quality government vehicle they're supposed to have? Vehicles that are parked here, there are three EV vehicles parked right in the center. Right now, only one is present here, which is, which is being charged. Now, these are being given by the government as part of the EV project. Uh, electrification of the transportation of the government vehicles. While this is a good initiative, it is a much welcomed one. Why are the older vehicles just rotting away here? Is it just because that they got new vehicles, they just gave up on the old ones? As you can see ahead, we'll just uh, walk a little bit ahead and show you what other vehicles have been parked here and have been rotting away for months on end. We have another Scorpio. The tires are punctured. It has been lying here. This car now belongs to the additional collectorate and uh, additional district magistrate, North Goa district. Now this vehicle again here has been lying for months. Why is it being just kept here? Is this a scrapyard? Does the collectorate office house a scrapyard right opposite its offices? Again, if you walk a little bit further, you have another vehicle. This again belongs to the collectorate, North. Look at the condition of the vehicles here. Look at the piles of garbage that are right outside it. Is this the sort of image that a district collector's office should project right outside, you know, in the city? Now, even if we go a little bit ahead, we have another government vehicle that is parked here. Now again, this has been lying here. It is basically turned into a scrapyard. Now, are these vehicles actually working, not working? Do they suffer minor issues and were not resolved? Or were they suffered from major engine issues that they could not be revived? Even if so, why are they being kept here? Why are they not sent to scrapyards? Why are they not disposed of? This brings to question, what are the authorities doing here? The Mamledar, the collector's office, all, everything housed here. Subhashish Govekar, Vincent Rosario and Bhakti Pai Balgi for Goa 365.